So this video starts with an assumption that you already know how to get your math type equations into your word processor document. Just won't go over that. Just a couple quick, uh, this is the first of two quick uh, math type tips in this video. This one, or in this uh, Sophia packet. This one will uh, cover some shortcuts, or one shortcut that will save you tons of time. So however it is you're doing it, you're going to insert your math type equation. Math type opens up. Um, turns out that over time, you'll notice yourself typing the same thing again and again and again and again. For example, in order to type f of x equals, you've got to do f. If you want it to look nice, you have to come up here and grab your parentheses and then type x and then come here and type the equal sign. So it was one, typing, what we had to type two letters, one symbol, and grab one thing from the menus. We can streamline that process quite a bit. Here's how. Select whatever it is that you're, you know you're going to be typing a bunch of times, like f of x equals, just clicking and dragging like in any word processor document. And then we will click that and see how we can drag it up here into this little tabby area. We get that little plus sign, that means it's going to add it as a template. So now, when we have a new math type equation, and we want to type f of x equals, we just click that button, and we're good to go. You can see I've already set up some things that I uh, end up having to type frequently. And actually, there's some stuff here that I don't really use very often, but f of x equals x squared. If you set yourself up a little x squared template, um, then uh, you're good to go. So now we close that up. There's your f of x equals x squared. When you set up those little buttons, they're there for good. So math type equation, there's my f of x button. Huge time saver, especially as you get uh, um, more and more complicated things that you're trying to type into math type. Uh, an example, and then you can organize these, uh, your little sets of buttons by topic area, by whatever you want. I work on a, a project called the Connected Math Project. It's a middle school math project. I have to do a lot of fractions. So I've got things set up so that as I'm working through fractions, if I want to do something that has fifths, uh, I hit that button, three fifths, and we're good to go. Uh, and if I want to add to that two fifths, I just hit the fifths button again, type the two, and we can go ahead with the computation. Saves having to grab the various things, um, the, the various templates, and, and navigating to all the little bit, bitty areas. So, uh, and if you ever want to get rid of something from those. I'll go back to where I was. I was in the algebra one. And you see I already have an f of x. Uh, so I don't need the one that I made. If you right click on that, then uh, you can delete that expression. You'll get a little box asking, are you sure you really want to do that? You say yes, and now it's gone. 